Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I will be reviewing this Athern Roundhouse 50 foot high cube um, ribbed side PD box car. Um, this is actually I think a fairly new tooling from Athern because I don't think I've ever seen a Athern Roundhouse modern car. Now this is for their 75th anniversary. We've got the usual old Athern advertisement paper in here. Nothing special. All just trash, anyways. Um, we've got the Explorer View diagram, which I like because these they haven't changed these in like years. As you can see, no um, separately applied grab irons on this car because it's of course a roundhouse. Very simple. But also a very affordable car. I think this is around $20 range. Like all the other cars that I've reviewed this week. So here we go. Take it. Take that off. Um, here's the car itself. Very, very nice finish. So we've got BNSF. It's a very plain car. But then again, it's a roundhouse. So nothing real special. Um, printing is very nice. From Mather and Aubes. Door detail is also pretty nice for the price. You've got the, what are these, cons conspicuity stripes here? You've got the warning labels. This car is express height. You can obviously read that. Here's the roof. Ooh. Don't like that. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Um, other side is basically the same thing. Here's the, what they call this, the AN, I think. As you can see, we've got the express height warning on the top. We've got the Henry knuckle couplers, plastic, of course, but have had problems in the past. We've got the, what do they call this, B end. Now, the brake wheel is actually pretty nice. I do like that brake wheel. We've got another McHenry coupler. We've got the BNSF express height car on the pier. Underframe is like every other Athern Roundhouse car, very plain, but the main stuff is there. As you can always still see is metal wheels, and these trucks are kind of nice too, because they got the brake rigging detail in them. But the sides have no wording or no detail on them at all. Wheels are very free rolling, very, very good. And that leads us to our roll test. Okay, we got the car on the track. Here's the roll test. Here we go. Did about average. Did a little bit better than the Atlas in the previous video. Um, yeah, I would say it's pretty average. Not bad, not good. Whatever. Okay, here we have the scale. We're gonna weigh this car. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Weighs 4.4 ounces, it's pretty light, lighter than the Atlas car in previous video. To grams, that is 125 grams. Uh, yeah, I would add some more weight if I was actually adding weight to this car, but I can't, you do not have any. Um, I would give this car a 7 out of 10 rating, cause not too happy about the big molding pin on the top. That could be prototypical, but I don't think so. Um, finish is nice overall. What's else? I don't like that it's, over, that it's not really that heavy. Um, what else? I don't really like all the molding pin marks on the bottom of the car. But you won't see those anyways, so it's not that big of a problem. But other than that, not a bad car for the around 20 bucks I paid for it. That's a pretty good price for a modern car like this. So I will give it that. It's actually very affordable. But other than that, bye.